Sophie Turner was barely a teenager when we first met her on Game of Thrones, but there's so much more to the actress beyond her iconic portrayal of Sansa Stark. This is the untold truth of Sophie Turner. There's a void in Turner's life that may never go away. Her twin sister didn't survive her mother's pregnancy, a fact that reportedly paints Turner to this day. As she told You Magazine, my mom had a miscarriage, my twin died, and I lived. Regarding her mother's miscarriage, she confessed, that definitely affected me in terms of, I always felt as though something was missing. The pain cut so deep, Turner reportedly draws from it in order to fuel her most heart-wrenching scenes. She confesses, I guess there's a sense of loss there that I've used to conjure emotions on screen, such as when it came to Ned Stark dying. Please let me go home. I won't do any treason, I swear. Not coincidentally, Turner starred in a 2016 film called Another Me, which involves a twin thought to be lost during a miscarriage. She told the Coming Soon website why she was so drawn to the film. I'm fascinated by how twins act and react with each other. The audition that changed Sophie Turner's life forever almost didn't happen. In fact, she apparently completely forgot about it. According to Marie Claire, casting directors were visiting schools all across England to fill the roles of Sansa and Arya Stark. Fortunately, her high school drama teacher spotted her in the cafeteria and reminded her about the appointment to read for the part. Whoops! Ironically, Turner told The Telegraph she didn't exactly give 100% either. She revealed, This was the first audition that I didn't really try very hard for. Sounds like luck and talent were both on her side. The 12-year-old was asked to audition four more times after that, and she eventually landed the role of Sansa. The rest is Westeros history. Considering the massive success of Game of Thrones, it's hard to believe there was once a time when the show might not have gotten picked up. The pilot was reportedly nothing to write home about, and Sophie Turner and co-star Maisie Williams could apparently sense it, too. They reportedly cried at the rap party. In 2019, showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss told Rolling Stone, We remember both of them bawling and hugging each other because they loved each other so much after only a few short weeks and were afraid they'd never see each other again because the show wouldn't get picked up. It was a viable fear. Benioff and Weiss weren't too confident about the pilot either. That's why they recast certain roles and reshot the majority of the episode. As you know, the show was ultimately picked up and became a monster hit, allowing Turner and Williams to reunite and further cultivate their friendship. It's tricky. <laughs> it's complicated. It's been so much fun. She's my best mate. It's true, Sophie Turner and Maisie Williams really are besties. As Turner told Rolling Stone, they first met during their Game of Thrones audition and hit it off instantly. We became fast friends, and at the end of it, we both like hugged each other and we said, I really hope you get it. Meet Zuni, the northern Inuit dog who is known as Lady on Game of Thrones. She went from playing Sophie Turner's direwolf on the show to becoming her pet in real life. He doesn't mean Lady, does he? No, no, not Lady. Lady didn't bite anyone! She's good! Once Lady met her untimely on-screen death at Cersei Lannister's request, it was time to find Zuni a new home. Since Turner had always wanted a dog, she stepped in to care for the animal. She told the Coventry Telegraph, My parents and I kind of fell in love with my character's direwolf, Lady, on set. Hopefully Zuni was a better pet than she was a performer. Turner told Harper's Bazaar, Zuni was a terrible actor, really bad on set. She wouldn't respond to any of my calls and everyone was ready to fire her. The loyal beast lived until the age of 11 and spent most of her time with Turner's parents. Rest in peace, Zuni. Believe it or not, there was a time when Sophie Turner was a believer. In fact, one of her bedroom walls used to be entirely dedicated to the pop star. Oddly enough, the fandom really paid off when it came to filming her scenes with King Joffrey. Wait, what? Turner revealed to Rolling Stone, The showrunners always told me, look at Joffrey as if he's Justin Bieber and imagine that life. What does Turner's Bieber fixation have to do with a tyrannical man baby? As she explained, Sansa is completely oblivious to who the royal family are. It's like any Justin Bieber fan. They don't realize Justin has his darkness about him. Hmm. Well, Turner has since met Bieber and it sounds like it was totally weird. Maybe even a little dark. Here's how she explained the encounter on The Late Late Show with James Corden. I don't know what came over me to do this, but like I turned around and I was like, hi. Uh. <laughs> no word on whether Bieber replied, what do you mean? So how does a famous actress and a pop star meet in this day and age? In the case of Sophie Turner and her husband, Joe Jonas, the answer is simple, social media. 
Turner tells Harper's Bazaar, We had a lot of mutual friends and they'd been trying to introduce us for a long time. We were following each other on Instagram and he direct messaged me one fine day out of the blue. Jonas had a rabid following and his fans have been known to be overprotective and jealous when it comes to his relationships. Some of them don't think too highly of her, but the situation has reportedly improved. Meanwhile, Turner says her own fans are overprotective too. They write to Joe and say, if you do anything to her, if you break her heart, it's sweet. I like it. You know what else is sweet? The fact that Jonas occasionally tags along with Turner when she goes on interviews. Do you watch the show? Yeah, every day. Yeah. Joe will tell you, I uh, like when I'm doing my makeup. Meanwhile, it sounds like Turner absolutely refused to spill any Game of Thrones spoilers to Jonas. How selfish. Her lips are sealed and it, <laughs> it, it guts me. Sophie Turner never planned on getting married. In fact, she told Rolling Stone she was prepared to spend the rest of her life single. But then she met Joe Jonas and all of that changed. Turner told the magazine, I feel like I've lived enough life to know. I've met enough guys to know. I've met enough girls to know. Everyone experiments. It's part of growing up. I love a soul, not a gender. If it were up to Turner, Sansa would have done some experimenting on the show as well. She confessed to Entertainment Weekly a few years before the series' conclusion. I think she's going to have to swing the other way, because the men thing isn't working for her. And who does she think would be Sansa's ideal mate? She said, Judging by Sansa's relationship with Marjorie, probably Marjorie. Well, that would have really been something. In 2014, things seemed to get awfully awkward between exes Sophie Turner and The Vamps guitarist James McVeigh. And it all began when McVeigh tweeted a photo of himself and Turner with a dramatic caption, Was this all an act? I know you're an actress, but this isn't cool. Turner quickly responded, Please stop, you're freaking me out. The situation escalated quickly with McVeigh tweeting, You made me watch your lame little TV show. I don't even like Game of Thrones. A lot of people took this as a sign that the couple had broken up. But in an interview with The Sun, McVeigh insisted it was all a big joke and claimed they were actually still together at that point. No one really got it apart from us, and now, in hindsight, it looks like we had a really messy breakup. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. After all, McVeigh even wished Turner well in her engagement to JoJo telling the son, I'm really happy for them. I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing some wedding pictures. Like so many of us, Turner has struggled with anxiety and depression throughout her life. But she's seen substantial improvement thanks to therapy and medication, telling Rolling Stone, the fact that I spoke to someone changed my life. She told Harper's Bazaar that the problem is largely a societal one. In the UK, we have this mentality of, chin up, get on with it, you'll be fine. But she clearly thinks it's a generational problem too. She told Rolling Stone, my mom still asks me, why do you need a therapist? The good news is that people like Turner are helping to move the conversation in the right direction, and she remains quite vocal about mental health issues. In April 2019, she opened up to Dr. Phil. I've suffered with depression for about five or six years now, and. The biggest challenge is just, for me, getting out of bed. The first time Sophie Turner's dad chose to visit the Game of Thrones set, he wanted to surprise her. And it turned out to be the day they were filming a scene in which Sansa is brutally assaulted. Turner told The Telegraph, It was horribly awkward. My dad didn't know this scene was going on. He just thought he'd turn up. We were like, oh, bad day, dad. Turner said her parents eventually got used to the show's violence and notorious sex scenes. And it's a good thing, too because Turner has been in quite a few of them. As she told The Telegraph, they knew it was a good quality show. If it hadn't been, I don't think they would have been happy. You wouldn't know it from looking at her, but Turner has a thing for fast food, American fast food to be precise. In 2016, she opened up to InStyle about her personal favorites while filming the X-Men movies. I spent a month working in Atlanta, and they have Chick-fil-A restaurants on every corner. It's so good, I crave it. But as far as her junk food obsession goes, that's not even the half of it. She confessed, I also love Wendy's Frosty Milkshakes. And then there's In-N-Out Burger in LA. I mean the best. But in an interview with Elle the following year, she changed her tune and promised that her diet had vastly improved since working on X-Men. Now I pretty much eat healthily just because I don't really have a tolerance for unhealthy food anymore. I feel so really groggy after I eat it. And I know a lot about food now, what's good for you, what's not. But delicious habits die hard. She revealed that she still gives in to a cheat meal every now and then, just not too many. But when she gets in the mood, guess what she craves? She told Elle, love, love, love sausage. Tell the world. Consider it done.
Bear with us for a moment here. You know why people tend to walk around drain gates? It's so they can avoid appearing in news stories like this. That 13-year-old boy has been found alive after slipping and falling into a drainage pipe. Count Sophie Turner among the folks who do everything they can to avoid these drains. In an interview with InStyle, she even went so far as to call it a phobia, admitting, Walking over drains freaks me out. I get so nervous whenever I see one. Based on what she told the publication, she has the strangest coping mechanism for dealing with this ferocious fear of drains. Someone once told me to say the word onions when I walk over one and it will reverse the curse. So now I say it every time. I guess it's a superstition thing, but it helps. Hey, whatever works. You do you, Sophie. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.